Hey there everybody, it's Lisa Swanee here from Business and Heels and I am so lucky today. Julie Hyam Elliott has joined us and she's going to tell us something about finance that's exciting and um, normally you'll go, oh, finance, but um, we've got something really exciting to tell you. So if I said to you, you could get your money straight away instead of delaying things at the banks, well, that's what's coming up. So we're talking today about the new payment platform that's being rolled out. So first of all, Julie, tell us a bit about, you know, what is it, this new payment platform? So Lisa, this is the very uh, unsexy bit, but we can get to some of the sexy bits later on. So um, 13 of the, the largest banks in Australia have been working together to make us globally competitive. So putting a platform in place that, um, makes Australia up there with the world with being able to send and receive money, which we'll talk in detail later, but will really help drive uh, business efficiency. Um, so if what it's described as is um, the rails. Um, so what has now been built is the rails and what is now, and that happened, was finalised late last year, and what is now happening is um, each of the banks are doing their own overlays on top of the rails um, to be able to link into those rails and use it. So the overlays, and we'll talk a bit more in detail about them, mm -hmm. is is the banks each bank's competitive advantage, um, but it's the carriages that will run along the rails. Um, so there will be several phases of what will launch with that. And what I'm really excited about is not only does it make Australia and business globally efficient, um, and it's a great opportunity for people, but it's going to be interesting to see everyone's imagination about all the different things that they can use this mm -hmm. wonderful platform for. But it's been about five years um, in the making to get to where we are, but now it's ready for all the banks to, to link into it. And so lots of banks have already started um, linking into it and letting their clients know, haven't they? Yes, no, absolutely. Um, uh, so the bank that I'm on the board of, PNN mm -hmm. Bank um, in Western mm -hmm. Australia, we were one of the first to launch at the end of January. Yep. Um, some of the big players are dragging the chain a bit. <laughs> they will join in the next couple of couple of months. Um, and look, the reality is, until everyone's in the system, um, people won't see the full benefit of what can will be achieved um, at the moment you only see the benefit if you're dealing with two institutions that happen to be on, on the system. Um, so but let's... until the big players, which are 80% of the market, come on board, um, we won't realise the full benefits. But by um, September this year, uh, phase one should be pretty well implemented, which would be really exciting. So for me as a business owner and a person, uh, when my bank rolls onto it, what what should I do? So firstly, um, don't just engage with what's happening and know that it's going to be a benefit you and exciting. Don't think of roll your eyes and think of, think of it as, oh, it's just another communication with my bank that I don't have time for. Make time to read. If you see new payments platform, make sure you read the information because it will benefit your business. Um, so, and keep across capability that the banks will launch as, as part of the platform. Um, but initially what it will mean is, um, so rather than, um, you so know. This is a change what, you must engage with, right? So when you see it, you need to go check it out and have a look and not just think, oh, they're just changing their rates or doing something. Yep. You know, people yep. need to get involved. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So what it will mean for a business is that rather than, you know, sometimes it can, depending on the bank, it can take two or three days for the money to appear. Mm -hmm. um, money will appear actually within a minute. Um, so, that. <laughs> yeah, so, so that will be instantaneous. Um, and it can happen 24-7. So, you know, you don't have to worry about public holidays. You don't have to worry about weekends. Um, so you can send and receive payments um, 24 seven, which is, which is terrific. And you've, you will have this thing called a pay ID. So rather than having to remember a BSB and an account number, um, it will be a, a business name, an ABN, a, a mobile phone number or, or an email address that you will enter um, that will identify you 
um, to receive the money, which will be terrific. So gone, are, gone will be the days of people being able to hide behind, oh, yes, no, I've sent the money um, because you can check it a minute later and check that it is. Yeah. Uh, that's fantastic. And so, you know, then for a lot of shop owners who often have cash flow problems, you know, if you've been paid, you don't have to wait for the check to clear and all this sort of stuff because it will yeah. just go straight through. Yeah, and you don't have, it comes through as clear funds so you can use the money straight away it's rather than, yeah, waiting the three, another three days for the mm -hmm. check to be cleared. Um, and you'll know that the money is, is good and it's there. Yeah, so a lot of comp companies that have um, lines of credit and things may not need them nearly so much as a result of um, their money coming straight through. So that's pretty amazing. You know, uh, you know and as we've spoken about before, Lisa, you know, cash flow is king for a business. Yeah. So yeah. this will really um, fasten up the speed of, of cash flow. But, you know, even more exciting down the track, apart from, you know, the receipt of money, will just be the business processes that will be revamped mm -hmm. part of it. Um, I, I said earlier, we don't know exactly everything and how people's imagination will, um, all the things that will spring up for the use of this. But you know, ultimately, you'll get organisations like the ATO using it. Um, ATO can use it you know, to lodge your BAS because you will be able to lodge not just you know, 30 um, numerical bits of data, um, 30 symbols with, with a payment, you can actually link an invoice or you can link a remittance or you can link a BAS statement. Um, I know SAP and Zero are already working to be able to um, link this new system directly into, the, um, uh, into their software. So it's going to make accounting processes easier. It's going to make it more, more straight through. You know, you, so that you'll also, boring task of trying to line up who, who you got this... Uh, payment or what got sent to whom because their account name is so different to what you put on the invoice you won't have to do it anymore because you'll have the invoice numbers and things like that in there yeah you're going to have so much you, you can you can get a document linked to it so it's going to make that reconciliation process a lot of mm -hmm. easier they're going to get the cash quicker reconciliation is going to be easier um, and when the accounting systems work through it with it as well um, you know, you'll be able to pull data through straight into the accounting system. So great other reasons for business to keep mm -hmm. up, up with it because, you know, if they get emails from Zero or SAP or, or whichever accounting system they're using, again, engage with that because it's yep. going to make your processes more efficiently. You'll also be able to send a request for payment. So you can send an invoice through this ultimately, not phase one, but ultimately you will be able to send your invoice electronically through the system with a request for payment and a date for payment. The, the person on the other end still has to push the button to pay it, um, but you can at least prompt them by sending through the invoice and the request for payment. So pretty exciting stuff. So Julie, tell us some of the pros and cons around um, the use of it. Are there any cons? Well, one of the cons is... Um, that because you, you, I mean, generally at, at the moment, you've got, if you do make an error, you've got 24 hours to kind of urgently get on the phone to your bank and say, please put a hold on that money and get it back for me because I've sent it to the wrong place. Yeah. It's going to be harder to, to send it to the wrong place because you're going to use the pay ID, but mm -hmm. of course it can still happen. So yep. because it's going to go through instantaneously, you are going to lose that benefit of, your bank being able to call it back. Right. So you're just going to have to be much more careful with your ID number or whatever it is um, that you're using. Just the same as always, I guess, that we're making it simpler. Yeah, that's right. And it isn't compulsory for people to register a pay ID. Um, you can still use BSB and account if that's what you would choose mm -hmm. to do. But I think people will very quickly see the benefit of, of a pay ID. Oh, yeah. And the banks will write out when, when they're getting ready to launch, when your bank is getting ready to launch, um, they will, you will get a communication from them asking you to register a pay, pay ID. Yeah, I actually had seen something from my bank and like many people, I think I just parked it and I'll look at that later. But now 
after talking to you, I'm excited. So I'm going to go back and read all those things and find out all about it. That's good. And get registered. So um, some of the key things we were chatting before about what might be coming up in the future. So the overlays into the accounting system will be pretty exciting. Yeah. And then, um, what else do you think might be coming? Look, I, I'm really excited by some of the um, financial services technology companies or fintechs, some of the stuff that, that, they're, that they're going to do. Um, but um, even what's envisaged at the moment is really exciting. I mean, they're saying, you know, one example I've seen is, you know, a, a car yard um, who has to split payments between several entities. Um, you know, that's going to become a lot easier and just it's all going to be done electronically on the system. So they think it could take out, you know, for something like a car yard and the way they run their processes mm -hmm. uh, can take out about um, 36 hours of work oh, wow. just around that whole process once the system gets fully fully up and going. Mm. And, and I mean, even the process of, you know, your BAS, can you imagine, you know, you can just do all that and remit it all online for, you know, for, for yourself or for your accountant. Um, just remit it all online with the payment through to the tax office and, and vice versa, getting your um, tax monies back from the tax office. It sounds really, really exciting, Julie. So we've also put a couple of websites on the front, so um, on the um, video. So if you want to check out and learn more about it, check out the two websites, um, as well as Julie's popped her own one on there, you know, and she, if you feel like you need to chat, she's invited all of you to touch base with us so don't inundate it but um you know it's it's such a big change and it sounds like it's really exciting for business and i think you know the faster we embrace things as we said cash flow is king so the more we can do to make that work the better yep absolutely so have you got any other key tips for um our listeners and our members i think just to reiterate again just don't park the information to one side, engage with it because it isn't just a big infrastructure change. It's actually can benefit your business. So um, mm -hmm. engage with it and try to understand it as much as you can. And I'm sure the accountants will quickly get across it all as well. Yeah. And it, you know, it should save us a lot of time on bookkeeping and trying to reconcile stuff. So I'm excited about all that too. Absolutely. Cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Julie. Really appreciate you demystifying some of this stuff because I, as I said, would have just parked it. So excellent stuff. Thank you. Always a pleasure, Lisa. Thank you.